Hey, welcome to G4P CV. This is here. I'll be talking about how to use a uh, easy worship presentation. How you can put background, I I I can do picture in picture and so many things. And if this is the first time of coming across this tutorial, we encourage you to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share this content. Now uh, let's get into it. Is the the uh, representation I created for you and your template and as you can see this thing there this presentation is a thing that you can do within a minute of three to five minutes depending on how fast you are so let's check it out this is the one that I created but let me delete this so we can do it probably by again we don't delete it okay now for you to create a presentation you come to this presentation tab over here you click on the plus sign when you click on the plus sign you will have um when you click on the plus sign you are going to have these two these two um two text box so all you need to do from here is to write whatever you want to write so let me just say prayer session prayer session so who is going to take the prayer session let me see Mr. Felix, because I've said it yet, Mr. Felix. So another thing I want to put here why is some kind you want to put your church logo. So if you want to put your church logo, you need to do is to come to this video. I change from this video to picture. So this is my church logo over here. I'm going to click on OK. So now you come to this corner side to resize it. And resize it to whatever you want it to look like to so resize it and just give it so just give it a name so i'm going to call this one prayer so prayer apply okay sorry my system is kind of slow so you come to scripture so i i found this scripture first as arena 517 you just need to look for a scripture you don't need a scripture to backing up your your presentation so far you are presenting to the church so then you know that okay you're actually praying and this you know now sometimes when you use scripture in the church of god you meet it and guide them to do that which you're instructing them to do so that we're going to do right here so i have this uh, text over here first that's why now i say to say pray without season all i'm going to do here is to right click on this and i'll pick and see copy to pivot so i'll come to my presentation over here this is the one I've been doing. This, this is my presentation. The one I've been doing. So I will do right click, and I will edit. So now I'm trying to put something. So all I need to do is to come to this text over here, click on it. So it give me another text box. So I will drag it. So just to place it on the other side. Then I control V to paste that um, the text you just copy from your Bible. So now here is the magic. You are going to resize this and you're going to give it your own font. So I'm going to let this one come first. I can resize this like this and I can make it big. So okay, fine. It's centralized now. So let me put this um Mr. Felix at the last name to the Bible to control in second. Okay. Let me drop it like this. So okay now it's, it's going so i can take this up in bits so then you take this up in bit as well okay and this is stuff there is let me take it there so now all you need to do is to change your fonts you need, you need to change your fonts and you need to um, put it on the way you want to put it sure you can put it in center sometimes you can put it at the right side or left side depending on what you want so this is this is my over here i'm going to control p to select all the text and i'll change my font to area area black over here my can see more tint so i'm going to put i'm going to control e as well and select the font size go put it on sensory p up see it's in p up yeah and visit over here so and uh, i'm going to come to this style do not auto size text so well, i'm going to give it the size so let me see take it down it's okay it's okay for me like that 
it's okay so this is that felix i will control it to select all the effects and i will give it area direct area black okay oh uh, let me give this same to me girl okay, so it's another looks more more thick than the subjects which is the pair we are playing okay this is the way it's all right so i need to increase this text as shirt double click punch of a then i say do not resize so i'm going to be in the arm let me say 55 as well clip aside so i need to enlarge this text box if not you will not see everything so you throw a light everything so the text will be in the middle so we can just just to break this functionality like this way when pacing very well now everything is is, is normal so 100 z so in this case now i want to put my touch in it i'll come to this text again you know put it up like this so I'm going to put the name of my church. It says Word of Faith. Word of Faith Church. So that's the name of my church. So I'm going to do from here. Is to control this resize right? You need to select all the text before you put it in the size you want. So I'll select all the text and control A. Then I resize Group 16. Now so let me put the number. Let me put it in my work. Okay, it's okay for me like that. So I can then resize this box inside that box so that I can resize the box so I will not take my eyes off. So I'm now my my text up so so for this prayer as well I can still take the box down and take the box down. I resize it like this. So the the point of being this still is prayer so your prayer should look more bigger than any other thing your prayer when your it is if it is praise and worship or anything you want to write there as a topic should look more bigger so that will be, that will be the main attraction of your presentation so i think i need to bring this thing down a bit so I think let me drop it as 40 so I can have more space for my prayer because that is the main reason of this presentation. So every other thing is just the support you need to enhance the um so let me drop it as 70. Yes, it's okay like this. Yes, so um, fine, good. So what are we going to do from here? So we come to this shape. There are a lot of shapes, there are a lot of shapes you can check, there are a lot of shapes. But the one we are going to use for this tutorial is this one where I click on it and I move it. So all I need to do from here is to resize it. Yes, we need to resize it. Yes, we resize it. Yes, we resize it. So now we are sure that now you are sure that it has covered the name of the child okay, panic. All you need to do is to come to this arrange and send to back and as you can see our church name is back so we drop it like this so that's so what if you are not a person that likes blue color you want to miss the color what you need to do is to click on this inspector over here so you can just take it like this so you've selected that shape already you come to fill then from fill here you click on gradient so you choose the second color so i prefer to use this uh, in this year every year actually i can take the opacity down so that you can not too much okay i'm okay like that yes it's okay for me that way so um do i need to do anything with this stuff okay all right 
I need to have this up like a five then. Alright, so now here it's the need prayer. So what we need to do is to click on apply and okay. So now this is it over here. Do I need to give you one hour there? So this is it over here. And as you can see, that isn't this is the one we created just now. So what if you want to put background you don't always need to be black all you need to do is to bring it out and that will shade over here then you come to media and you choose any background of your choice so i can choose this background once i drop this background on it like this you see it's going to change automatically so that's how you change background in easy worship but she wants to select this background i will hold my left click and i will swing with my mouse and drop it on it so if you change as well you can see that is it then you double click to try to be on the live output so let me keep on mix here so if you can see it's easy to buy so there is a bonus for you in this tutorial i'm going to drop the link below this video where you have up to like 40 or 50 easy worship background both in pictures and in video so let me use some of them so if you want to bring in background after you downloaded them you download the background you click on this plus sign over here and you go to wherever you have your background so i have my background over here so I have lots of background I have lots of background don't worry all these background have been updated the link to download them is under this video, don't worry. So, the bonus for you. Sure. I'm going to select some background that I'm going to. Let me just select here. So, and if you want to select all your background, you click on your first one. Then you scroll to the last one. You hold down your shift key on your keyboard, you select the last one. So, in that case, you selected all your background they click on open so don't worry just give it some few seconds or few minutes going to pop up in your video so you can see then this is this are the background so i have a lot of them for me so you're going to use anyone i will click on it like this then i will move it as well and drop it so drop it that isn't so that's not okay for our design so remember to choose okay this will be okay let me select this now and drop it on the video the round is now you can see that out um thank you for this wonderful tutorial it's, it's all because of you and it has always been you so if you are coming across this channel for the first time we, we upload you to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorial like this anytime any day we drop another tutorial and this is what we always do our aim and objective is to prove the kingdom of god forward to the next day through the work of the media and don't forget this channel is still has so many more tutorials to drop and to, to, to teach you so and if you consider this video as epic, you don't forget to click the like button to give us this the thumbs up and to make it aware to the other believers where so also it can provide the gospel of Christ. Thank you. Stay tuned. As always, stay creative. Thank you.